Hey y'all, Billy in the Homestead Honey, AKA the Permaculture Princess. Right out here, I'm gonna get her a little tiara made out of no. some. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna be doing a harvest today and it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna show you a permaculture harvest like we always do. Um, you know, we got cabbages and stuff in here that we're getting out today along with some onions, but also we got blueberries popping up. The strawberries are still blowing up more than we could possibly deal with. And a number of other things are kicking as well. But one thing we want to point out inside this high tunnel, we don't necessarily have the best soil in the world. So when you did an assessment on that soil under the microscope, what did you discover? It was highly bacterial and there was this area was also very compacted um so we have a lot of work to do when it comes to building up soil well one so. one problem we also ran into we got in a rush last year bought some of that bag stuff right turned out and made everything worse so when she did her assessment a whole lot of bacteria in there no fungi no protozoa no beneficial nematodes none of that stuff no, yeah nothing. but still we got a harvest out of it now, the only thing that really does well in conditions like that would be what? The the brassicas, which is, we've got kale planted in that bed. It's doing great. Um, some of the cabbage, the cabbage didn't do well in this bed because we had a, a frost and I just never replanted. I just let it go and planted some other stuff in here. So that's why the, the cabbage is spotty in this bed. Yeah, but touch and go in all of this, y'all, we're going to show you and show how we basically take and we're going to, this is going to take time, but we're going to show that even if you think you have awful, jacked up soil, how you can transform it. Now, some of these others, we did put some of our compost in there. It improved, but now we're going to do it another way. But that's another video altogether. What we're really on to today is a harvest, and we're going to show you how we do it. So I'm just cutting the cabbage off down at the bottom, and I'm going to leave the base and all the roots in, in the bed. Now, why are you not just yanking the whole thing up out of there? Why are you not taking the roots and everything? Because it, it helps to build soil structure. There's, um, it can decompose and add to, the, add to the soil. It's also gonna be, you know, really good food for the microbes that are in there, the ones that are about to be in there as well. Now, honey, you pulled the whole thing up. Now, what part are we, how are you breaking so, that down? We're just going to, we're gonna keep the head for us and then the leaves I'm just going to trim them off and we'll we'll feed them to the sheep, the chickens, all the livestock. Right, so everybody gets a piece of this harvest all together. I think there's a swarm. Yeah, I hear I hear Is bees. It a swarm or It's probably a swarm. What, can you see which box is coming from? Not really, but you can see them in the... So we've had a number of swarms this year, bee swarms. And as we're in there filming this, that little tornado of bees you see right now is a swarm. They're about to take off. They're probably doing what every all the others did. Probably going to wind up over there on one of them trees. And then we'll go down there and collect them. So basically, Michelle's taking off everything that we're, you know, we'll take this stuff up to the house. Coarse cabbages. And given the diets that we have today, well, there's a lot of cool things you're going to do with that cabbage. I imagine uh, some of it will be fermented to some extent or another. Uh, yep. Sauerkraut. There's also a video, or we also had a, a vinegar coleslaw that you can can when we went to Perry Hill Farms. So I want to try their recipe on canning some coleslaw. Yeah, so check them out also. But here's what's the most important thing, is that there is never any waste on a legit permaculture farm. Either we're gonna feed this to our animals or we're gonna feed it to the microbes and it could be in another compost pile that I got kicking up there right now. So everybody gets a piece. Chickens love it, everybody loves it. But think about this, the problem is the solution. So here we are in soil that isn't exactly fantastic, but we're bringing it to bear to grow the things that it can, you know, this highly bacterial stuff, brassicas are gonna do okay in. And this thing would be absolutely filled like if it weren't for the frost. So with that said, we're going to move on. Are we taking all these up?
All right, so here we are in another area and we got some more brassicas. I see you also got some basil mixed up in here. Yep, I planted some basil on the, the side that didn't have any cabbage. Uh, so that's, you have some leaves that are ready to, for harvest to make pesto. And also there's some over in a different bed. That's what I'm talking about. Pesto, one of my favorite things to eat on this planet, especially when it's fresh and you know where that stuff came from. But we also got basil growing all through the food forests and the orchards and all that kind of good stuff. But here it is. What's this, uh, what's this cabbage we're looking so at right now? This is just a different variety of cabbage. It's Savoy, which I'm just still going to make like um, probably coleslaw with it, that same recipe. Yeah, and a lot of it also is going to be, look, y'all, I mean, I'm, I'm making a lot of transitions in terms of health and, and a number of other things. So when I get some of this fermented food... And I get all that beneficial flora that's coming off all this stuff to put down in my belly. Um, I'm getting benefits all the way around from here. We're going to do the same thing again. Um, everything's getting a piece of it. Us, the animals, the microbes, ultimately the soil. That's where it's all going to go down to. So we'll go ahead and harvest this as well. And we're going to do a lot of cool things also. If you want, y'all, you can always use a rice knife, which is actually quite efficient. We got them at the website if you want. Them. Get through it a whole lot quicker. Look at that. Learned that in the jungles of Vietnam. All right, so in the mean, in the process of filming this video, the swarm decided it was just going to go up in the air like a giant tornado, and they made their home right up there in that tree basically out of reach so no luck for that one but there's always a good sign especially in this world where everybody seems to be losing bees some of our methods and techniques and not using neonicotinoid um, pesticides and all the other stuff is going to help keep your bees around now let's go get back to this cabbage All right, so these guys have been grubbing all morning. So the chances that I'm eating this right now isn't real high, but they will get around to it. Let's see if they like it. He just wants to be pet. Good boy. We'll put some back up in here in the woods. Shell, of course, is in hog heaven. And hey, as a little side note, y'all, this little um, sheep tractor, she welded up like three years ago. No repairs, no nothing. A third of the weight of the original design. And this thing is something else. So as a little side note, all you ladies out there, this is the result of some serious girl power. All right, y'all, so if you need any rice knives or anything like it, we got it at the website. I like to use it where I cut on the push. You can also cut on the pull. It's just more serrated that way. But, um, yeah, we got them there at the website. Also, why don't you tell them what's going to happen in this bed now? So in this bed, now that we've gotten the, the cabbage out, I'm going to plant a bed of green beans. The other bed that had cabbage in it, I had kind of planted around it. There's peppers growing in there. So we'll just let those grow until they're done and replant that with some fall stuff. Now, is that going to be green beans from Heaven's Harvest? Are we using those seeds? Uh, yep. Yep. So, so far, y'all, those seeds from Heaven's Harvest, I ain't going to lie. We've been, I mean, it's been a, like nearly 100% germination rate, right? Right. Yeah. We have a bed down there where we had the butternut squash and the peppers and all of them are doing great. Absolutely great. And in addition to that, y'all, we're going to start top dressing with some of the compost we recently made to show you how you can take some jacked up soil and transform it into something magical. All right, y'all, hopefully that's been a blessing to you. Like I said, you need anything from us, check us out down below or check us out at the website. Even check us out on the Permaculture Pimpcast. 
Until next time, this is Billy, along with the Permaculture Princess from Perma Pastures Farm. Say that 10 times, where permaculture is my passion. See y'all next time.